Okay, I'm going to be make, making a video showing you how to load the newest ice cream sandwich ROM onto your AT&T Samsung Captivate, the i897. The way I'm going to show you is the way I did it. I know there's other ways to do it, uh, but as I go through this, I'm just going to show you how, how I went about uh, getting the ice cream sandwich on my phone. So, the first thing is, is I started off with, with uh, the... The AT&T gingerbread uh, bootloaders. I'll have a, l a link in the description showing you how to load uh, those bootloaders. Uh, after I loaded those bootloaders, I flashed another a ROM, a gingerbread ROM. It's on the KH3 uh, version of the the gingerbread ROM, uh, and I'll have a link to that that ROM. Uh, the ROM really is not important, but it does have a kernel in it that includes the Clockwork mod recovery, which we'll need to to be able to flash. Uh, this ice cream sandwich. So I've got the AT&T gingerbread bootloaders. I've got this KH3 ROM on here with the kernel with Clockwork mod built into it. Again, I know people have been on Froyo bootloaders and they've they've done just fine by putting on uh, putting on this ice cream sandwich ROM. I'm just telling you how I went about doing it, and it worked for me. So I'm just showing you that that those steps. So I've got AT&T gingerbread bootloaders. Got this ROM with the kernel with Clockwork. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boot back into uh, boot back into to Clockwork mod. I've already downloaded the A the Alpha 6 uh, ROM of the ice cream sandwich. It's already on my on my uh, internal memory of my Captivate. It's on the the root. It's uh, at the the highest level where uh, it, it's just on the root of my internal SD card. So I'm going to just pop the battery. I'm going to boot back into Clockwork Mod, hold down both volume up and down, and then the power button at the same time. Let's make sure I get this right. Hold the power button until you see the AT&T flash just a little brighter to let go. Keep holding that volume. There we go, we're into Clockwork. Okay, I need to... Go ahead and do a data factory reset. That'll probably take a second. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and flash WAP cache. I know it does that with factory reset also, but do it anyways. Alright, now I'm going to go down to install zip from SD. Choose zip from card, and then I'm going to go to that a6 cappy.zip. Hit that, and install. Now with this Alpha 6, it has a kernel already built into the ROM, so it'll flash both of those for you. It's going to boot up here. It's going to show this deal about this kernel. Then it'll go back into clockwork. Keep It'll flash again. And then it'll go back to this screen right, that's right here. And once it comes back to that screen, it's going to get stuck. That's where we're going to pull battery and then reflash again. So we'll let this go through its cycle here. Says installing ROM there. Okay, it's picking. We just lost a couple seconds there. All right, it's going to boot back up again now, and it's going to show this right here. 
and it's going to be stuck right there. It's not going to advance past that. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull battery right here. And I'm going to go back into clockwork, hold volume up down, same time, push power button. Wait till it should go back into clockwork. There we go. Okay, now before we flash it again, let's go ahead and factory reset here. Okay, now we're going to go back and install zip from SD again. We're going to choose zip from SD card. Go back and hit our A6 Cappy again. Install that, please. <coughs> and some people have to go through this these steps several times. I only had to do it twice. So you may have to do this several times. I think everybody has to do it at least twice though. We'll see if that gets us this time. Okay, for good measure, go back, I'm going to just flat factory reset again here. Okay, reboot, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe stuck here again, I'm not sure. There we go. Pretty sweet boot animation, and I've done this once before, and last time it took forever to get through that boot animation. Just Loading up. All right. Uh, yeah, do, 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 do. Uh, I guess go with the top option there. Change it to this phase beam. I love this five wallpaper. There you go. Okay, there's my apps. Uh, let me just open a couple things real quick. Yeah, I haven't put any settings for it. Any of that. So to go to your task manager, you just long press the home button. Or you go to kill something, you just swipe it to the left. Notification bar, so you can go to settings from right here. Android 4.0.1. Sign in later. There you go.